everybody. Welcome to the Fire It Up with CJ show. Today we have um, Kim Stammer Terranova, and she is talking about her book, The Technology of Intention. We're going to talk about how we could apply some of those principles um, right now and during these chaotic times. So, welcome, Kim. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here with you. Thank you for having me. So you are now, um, you were just telling me I, uh, uh, that you're in your your Airstream. Tell me a little bit about your story and how you ended up in an Airstream. <laughs> so I live in the Malibu Mountains and I've had a retreat center here. I've been teaching spiritual principles up on this property for 15 years. And in the midst of the Los Angeles fires a year and a half ago, um, very quickly in one night, my home and everything was taken by the, by the fire. So in the recovery of that, one of the pathways from really staying in prayer and like asking, what is the highest good for me to do now? What came was while the house and retreat center gets rebuilt, is that um, an airstream crossed my path. And it just goes to show you that for years I've thought, wouldn't it be cool to live in an airstream? Who knew that now I'm living in an airstream on the top of the mountain while the house will get rebuilt. So it hasn't started yet, but it will. Wow. It gives me the opportunity that um, the land is so sacred to really be part of the healing of this next transformation of the property and all who get to come here and, and experience their own inner healing here. So it's, it's an adventure to say the least. Okay. So I, and it was extremely odd is that just moments ago I was interviewing my friend, Michael Sandler, who, um, um, in, in lost his house in Colorado and is in an airstream, didn't lose his, he, he was kind of needed to move on to his house that they, he was renting and he and his wife and a chicken and two, three cats are traveling across country and so that's the oddity is that we were both i was just i got off the phone with michael got on the phone with kim and i mean the the incredible thing is just the the loss that you had of your house and retreat center and and probably the agony of 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 how that felt and how lots of people because during this pandemic they're losing their homes or they're losing their way of life there's just such amount a huge amount of grief at the loss of what was tell us how you use the technology of an intention to navigate those times um thank you it i feel so clear that if it wasn't for my tool bag full of tools and intention is one of the most powerful tools for me i don't know where i'd be right now in the midst of all this because mm. It is a time of, there's a, so much intensity and in transformation, which I believe we're in the middle of right now, when we transform, you know, the, the meaning of it is we d discard what, what, who we were and are in the midst of birthing something more. Mm -hmm. So the planet's going through it. We are individually going through it, but that transformation is uncomfortable and the bumps and grooves of it, the, the loss is huge. And when we know in the midst of the loss that we're still holding vision mm. to what our source is. So if we know, oh, my source is more than this loss. You know, what got me through is I kept, I kept speaking. My consciousness was not contained in the structure of that home. Mm. Of the structure, I loved it. But my consciousness was not contained in it. None of our sins. So as we move through loss and change and transformation, if we remember, wait, I'm still operating with a power that's bigger than me. My mm -hmm. consciousness isn't contained by location. Mm -hmm. And so those two things, and then the third one that I slip into my practice moment by moment, day by day. And as I'm in my practice, I have the tools to lift me through the hard times. Mm. So for, for people who are not familiar with that, I, I understand those are, these are kind of high spiritual concepts that I am not my home or my body or my retreat center or any of these things. There's this greater presence outside of those things. Um, tell us what that means because people may not know what that means. Sure, absolutely. Um, and 
Yes, it's common language for me, so I appreciate you bringing me right here, CJ. Um, you know, it's a, a universal truth that there's there's a power and presence within this this thing we call life. Some people call it God, some people call it spirit, some call it the universe, some they just know it's an energy. Some people, some of my clients will say, Kim, I don't believe in a God, but there's an energy. I said, great, well, when we know that that energy runs through every one of us. It is not limited in any manner. So when we remember, oh, that energy that runs through me, whatever we name it, and we get to honor each other as we name it different things, that that energy is the core of my being. So that is the strength I lean into in the midst of these trying times. Mm -hmm. Then the, the tools that go with it are our practices. So when somebody says, when I ask someone, what's your spiritual practice? And they may say, well, I don't know. What does that mean? And I'll say, whatever keeps you centered and grounded that you come back to, so mm -hmm. that you're able to tap into that power, God, spirit, the universe. What is the practice that keeps you tuned in to that energetic field of unlimited being? Some of my clients are surfers. It's when they sit on the ocean and they're bored. That's a practice. Other people, it's prayer, meditation, journaling. Mine, I have to run through these beautiful mountains a few times a week because touching the earth mm. is a practice that keeps me grounded. Mm. So they're not just big spiritual practices of I'm, you know, meditating for eight hours. It could be as simple as I'm taking deep breaths in between my conversations to get grounded to who I am. Mm. But we have to remember. What are those practices so we access them when the grief is intense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's in the next segment actually dive into, because grief is one of them. Anger, frustration is another um, that seem to be very common. So I'd love to actually get your advice on if I didn't want to be in grief or anger or anger, blame, frustration, which seems to be the, or fear. These are the, seems to be the three resident places that people go to. I'd love to get some ideas from you on practice and tools that people could use um, in handling those three things. So we've been talking to Kim Stanner Terranova about her book, The Technology of Intention. Thank you so much for being here. It means so much to me that you're listening to the show. I would love your support in any way by giving me comments below or to subscribe to the show or share the show with friends. Thank you again for your support, love, and blessings.